guys welcome back to my channel I hope you all are doing well so in today's video I have a New Year's Eve glam makeup tutorial for you guys I decided to use gold tones and brown tones and do a really nice classic smoky eye makeup look with a nice muted lip so if you guys are interested in knowing how to achieve this glam makeup look and if you're interested in knowing what products I used then make sure to keep on watching. All right, you guys, so I already went ahead in and I got my base done just to save time in the video. But if you guys are interested in knowing how I like to get my base ready for makeup in terms of moisturizer, primer, color corrector, I'll have all those details listed down below in the description in terms of the products that I use. And I'll also link a video where I go into details and I show you guys how I like to apply these products. But again, to save time, I just did it off camera camera but I will share with you guys which foundation I'm wearing today if you guys are interested I'm using the wet n wild photo focus foundation in the shade golden beige I get mine from Walmart so this is a drugstore foundation and it is absolutely beautiful I'm obsessed you guys it's one of my top top favorite uh, foundations from the drugstore now in terms of uh, priming the lids you can go in with any concealer of your choice and just blend that out and then set that in place with some translucent setting powder. So the concealer that I ended up using is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm in the shade uh, Custard. So I just blended that out with a beauty blender and then I set everything in place with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. So for today's look, I'm going to be going in with the Tartlet Toasted Eyeshadow Palette. I absolutely love this palette. Look how beautiful it is, you guys. So I'm first starting off with the shade Latte and just taking this color on a big fluffy brush, I'm going to start blending this color into my crease. So I'm done blending out the crease shade, now I want to go ahead in and cut my crease. So to do so, I'm just grabbing some concealer, I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm going in with my Morphe M410 brush. You guys already know I'm obsessed with this brush, it makes your life so easy when you're trying to cut the crease. So that's pretty much what you want to do on both eyes, so I'm going to quickly do the other eye off camera and then we will continue. So next I'm grabbing the shade Sunset and I'm grabbing this shade on a Morphe M124 flat brush and I'm just applying this color onto the inner third of the lid. So the way that I'm applying is that I am tapping this color on, I'm really packing it on, I'm not really like blending it in. I'm just packing it right now and we'll worry about blending it out with other shades later. Right now I just really want to get the pigment on the lids. So next I'm going in with Crackle and using a separate Morphe M124 uh, flat brush. I'm just applying this color onto the middle area of my lid and then I'll worry about blending it out later. And oh my god, there's a lot of pigment to this shadow. I'm kind of disappointed that the shimmer on the shadow is pretty much gone once you apply the product on the lid. Um, that is not what I was expecting, but that's okay. We will work with it. There is a ton of pigment on this shadow though. Oh my gosh. This is like, it's I'm effortlessly applying this product on my lids right now. Don't know how I feel about how dark this color is. I was expecting it to be more shimmery, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead in with the shade Simmer. And I'm taking this color and I'm applying it right on top of Crackle. And just really blending that out. This is going to help soften out how dark Crackle is. I was not expecting it to be that dark. But that's okay, just blend it out with a lighter shade on top. And then also make sure to blend out the area where these two shades meet, like just like where that line is, and just really soften and diffuse that line so that they look nice and blended together. So I'm going in with my Morphe M441 blending brush, and I'm grabbing the shade Crackle, and I'm going to apply it onto the outer corners of my eyes. I feel like it's better off as like an outer corner shade, just because the shimmer really does disappear once you apply the color on your lids, like on the pan, it looks like it's a shimmery shade. I don't know if you guys can see on camera, you can see there's a lot of shimmer, 
but once you apply it on the lids it's completely matte so I was not expecting that but I really like it on my outer corners so I'm going to blend it out in my outer corners also I just want to say the quality of this specific color is so nice like it's so pigmented like you barely need any product Grabbing my Morphe M506 blending brush, I just went ahead in and I grabbed a Latte, which is our crease shade, and I'm just going back in and really defining the crease and blending everything out. This is a defined crease brush, so it's really good to use when you're doing like the final touches. And then just doing some final touches on the outer corners. Also taking a bit of latte on the outer corners as well. With a bigger fluffy brush just so it's really diffused and not so precise. So I'm going to take a break from the eyes and work on the face a little bit. I'm going to go ahead in and conceal my face. To conceal my face, I'm going in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. And to set everything in place, I'm going in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. So while everything is baking and setting in place, I'm going to go ahead in and do my eyeliner. For eyeliner, I'm grabbing the Maybelline Hyper Easy Brush Tip Liner. Alright you guys, eyeliner is done. As you can see, I did a pretty intense thick winged liner and I also went ahead in and I put some eyeliner in my inner corners. I've been loving this. I don't know what it is. I just love how it makes my eyes look. So now I'm going to go ahead in and just wipe away the setting powder because it's all done setting on my face. So I'm going to quickly go off camera and wrap up the eyes. I'm going to pop on some lashes. I'm going to put on the Kiss number one. You guys already know these are my favorite lashes from the drugstore. They are super cute, super glam. I've been using them a lot lately. For mascara, I'm going to pop on the L'Oreal Air Volume Mega Mascara. You guys already know I've been obsessing over this as well ever since I did a review. If you guys haven't checked out my review, I'll have it linked up here and also in the description for you guys to check out. And for brows, I'm going to use the Cabrow by Benefit in the shade 04. And if you guys want a detailed brow routine, I'll have a video linked up here and in the description box as well. Alright you guys, so eyes are fully done and my brows are done. Now it's time to wrap up the face. So I'm going to go ahead in and contour my face using my Chocolate Soleil Bronzer by Too Faced.
Using this flat edge brush, I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and I'm contouring my nose. And just taking a small beauty blender, I'm going to blend these two lines out. For blush, I'm grabbing the shade Party by Tarte. I'm just going to put the tiniest bit on my nose. highlight, I'm going in with the e.l.f. Annabella Noir highlight in Neharika Glow. Just grabbing my beauty blender, I'm going to just blend this highlight into the skin. I really want it to melt into the skin. So the last thing I have to do is my lips. So I went ahead in and I just wiped away some of the foundation that was on my lips. And I'm going to go ahead in and just line my lips using the NYX Professional Makeup Retractable Lip Liner in the shade Sand Beige. So I think for lipstick, I'm going to go ahead in with the Huda Beauty uh, Power Bullet Matte Lipstick and this is in the shade Anniversary. It's this gorgeous like pinky nude shade. So this is what it looks like. Alright you guys, so that is pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And of course, all the products that I used today will be listed down below in the description box. So make sure to check that out. And of course, if you guys have suggestions on videos you would like to see from me, make sure to comment down below and let me know and I'll definitely follow up on those. And if you guys like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload from me. And you guys, that is pretty much it. I wanna wish you guys a big happy new year. 2021 will be better, you guys. I know this year was crazy. So happy new year you guys. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your endless support this year I am truly grateful and I'm so excited to see what next year holds for us So you guys that is pretty much it. I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys